Hey, I guess I'm going to run down and uh, put that new gasket on the, <clears throat> the bottom nut of that carburetor on that 50 and see if we can figure out what that terrible growl is. So, heading out. Here we go. As y'all notice this little band-aid on my face. It, um, I didn't get any kind of new injury or anything. I got a, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago, I got a bad injury to my face right there. Got struck in the face and it uh, blew out my eye socket. And had all kinds of bone chips and splinters, bone splinters actually up in there. And um, it got well, it was hit directly in the eye with uh, the pipe handle of one of them, uh, one of them killer jacks. I guess I'm very fortunate that I uh, did not get killed. <laughs> It uh, was quite a blow. Anyway, um, it finally healed up. I finally got most of the sight back in that right eye. It took a long time. Uh, it's got 20/40 uh, sight in that eye instead of 20/20. But I make do with it. Anyhow. <laughs> in a while, I don't know if it's certain times of the year, we've never marked it down when it happens, but for some reason, it feels like it gets a little infection in it, and causes pain, that's what I've been having the last couple days, we uh, usually make some kind of charcoal poultice up and put on it, and I just got a little charcoal poultice under this big band-aid on there to pull some of the poison or infection or whatever the heck it is out and um, that's what that is it's not comfortable but it'll help keep me from falling asleep while driving that's what pain will do for you anyhow I'm on my way. I actually have to stop at the grocery store for my wife on the way over there. I'm proud that I can do that. You know why I'm proud that I can do that? I'm proud that I can do that because she had a $5 coupon. You spend five bucks, you get $5 off. So I go, go in there and get something for free. Anyhow, we gotta do that because we po, we po folks. Uh, well, I can't say I'm I, I can say that I don't make much. That's what I can say as a true statement. But I save a lot of what I make. <laughs> but I don't make much. Anyhow, I guess I, I'll sign off now and uh, pick you up later when I get to where the tractor is. See ya. It's about $2.57. Got a couple of loaves of bread and a big bag of... Uh, popcorn to pop so that's my kind of trip to the grocery store we don't have to buy much anyway we grows all we can anyhow we're going a little different way this time Woo. there's some still some pretty country around here Getting fewer and fewer. We're coming up on the old South River Clubhouse right there. Very old building. We're going to be going past a good friend of mine's house here. He's been known to watch one or two of my videos, and he's lived to tell about it. He's a talented young man. He's just a couple years older than me. He's a 
lives over here. I ain't gonna tell you who he is, because he, he knows who he is. One of the finest fellows around. There you go. Well, here we are. Back with the 50. Let's see what we can do with it. Thing is still dripping. <laughs> Gotta do it with a wrench. Here we go. Here we got our new gasket. Let's see what we can do. Get the old gasket off. Top gasket looks okay. Okay, new gasket on. Put the nut back on and then let's hope it don't leak. Don't need to put too much torque on it, just a little bit. Let it fill up with gas. It's dripping quite handily. Now, what's up with that? Might be, I think it's dripping out of. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. I'll dry it off real good and see where the drip starts. Looks like it's coming out of the bottom, not up around the top part of the nut so let's see about that now I gotta take the nut off take the bowl off and take this out okay the way this is actually sealed up in there you got a o-ring seal there and that's obviously bad and this I'm finding more and more wrong with it as it goes. I think this is supposed to be a uh, little more to this. <laughs> I think it's broke off. Let me do some more investigating. I might have to take the carburetor off yet. Okay, I brought a kit with me, but I didn't. The kit doesn't have this piece in it, so I have to run home. <laughs> I'll set the bowl back on there and keep dirt out of the stuff. And, See if I got one of these at home. So I'll be back. Yeah, this is basically the load needle. And I forgot what it was supposed to look like. I knew there was supposed to be something else up here because I could see this broke off. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's got this steel sheath on there that's kind of riveted they put a little <clears throat> washer on top and then they peen it over <laughs> and i don't know why they designed it like that i really don't but it's uh, it works i argue with it if it works so anyway i might put this used one in there but i got to get the right o-ring seals and put in there so anyway that's the story. I'll get stuff together and I guess I'll make another video when I go back again. See ya. He's uh lives over here. I ain't gonna tell you who he is because he, he knows who he is. One of the finest fellows around. There you go.